In this example, we're finding the equation of a tangent line once again, uh, just a different expression. So right now, we don't have to solve for a y coordinate because we're given one, so at 2, 1. All we have to do is find the derivative of y. So what can we do to solve for the derivative of y? Well, we can use a chain rule um, that will probably make the problem really, really simple. So let's go ahead and use this chain rule. u equals x squared minus 3. So du dx in this case is 2x. So let's go back. y equals square root of u. So how do we find the derivative of that? Well, we know that y equals square root of u. Is, u is just u to the 1 half. So y prime equals 1 half u to the negative 1 half. And this is going to be multiplied by 2x. Rewriting this, uh, y is going to equal 1 half x squared minus 3 to the negative 1 half times 2x. Well, the 2 and the half will cancel, and we'll be left with x over the square root of x squared minus 3. So, but what is the slope at this, at this uh, expression? This is the derivative. Well, we're looking for the slope. So, at x equals 2, y prime equals 2 over square root of 2 squared minus 3. And we get a number that's 1. Excuse me. It's not 1. 2 over square root of 4 minus 3. So it's actually 2. So the slope at x equals 2 equals 2. So once again, uh, we just apply the equation, uh, the form for, any, for a constant line equation. So y minus 1 equals slope 2 times x minus 2. And simplifying this down a little bit, 2x minus 4 plus 1. So our final answer, y equals 2x minus 3. So just to reiterate our main point of tangent and normal lines, it doesn't matter what function we have because those are just derivative properties. Uh, we just find the slope of this equation and at these points and apply that to our uh, general form of an equation. And if we keep following these same methods, um, it doesn't really matter what function they give us. As long as we can find the derivative, we can find the slope. Okay, thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next.